guys, it's Cupcake, and I'm coming to you with a, a video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up doing, I'm probably going to end up doing an update video, and then also this video. Um, I decided that I would just, I really have been liking watching, like, the Get Ready With Me videos. People um, use the acronym G-R-W-M for Get Ready With Me. Anyway, um, I've been watching those videos lately and so I figured I would just like do one um, as far as like putting on my makeup and by no means am I like great at putting on makeup or anything. So I'm not doing that because I'm great at putting on makeup. I just, I've been liking those videos so I figured that I would just do one. So we'll see. We'll see what you guys think. Um, <coughs> Jesus. Oh, this is what I look like when I'm crying, by the way, in case you wondered. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll start with like, I already did my hair and I know, <laughs> I know it doesn't really look like it because there's not a whole lot I can do with my hair right now. At least like not a whole lot that I do with my hair and it's kind of hot in here so my hair's kind of sticking to my forehead so that's cute but... Anyway, um, I washed my hair and blow dried it and straightened it. Yes, it took all of that just to get this and put the back in a ponytail. That's basically the look I've been rocking lately because yeah, like I said, there's not a whole lot I can do with my hair right now. Um, yeah, basically it's gonna just be like a low ponytail or a high ponytail or pigtails, but I ran out of rubber bands, so I've just been using like the same one. I just use like the the goody clear elastic ones. I used to always just buy like the black rubber bands, but they really do rip out your hair. I will still use them, but they rip out your hair more than the um more than the clear plastic ones. So anyway, Yes, it took all of that work to get this, and yeah, I realize it just doesn't look that great, but it is what it is. Um, I've been having a hard time getting my mascara off because I accidentally bought waterproof mascara, and even though I wash, I wash it off with soap, um, and I also have some makeup remover as well, like, it just doesn't want to come off very well. Um, I... My husband suggested I look up online, like maybe YouTube videos or something, like ways to get it off the uh, the waterproof mascara. But yeah, I still have some left, and it's weird because it's still on there. And when I pile it on, my eyelashes start to feel like plastic. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so when my hair was wet, I was using this, and yes, the bottle is like all distorted and, and whatnot because I squeezed the shit out of it, but um, yeah, it's this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine, basically intensely smooth leave-in conditioning cream. Um, basically, it just makes it so that my hair is not super frizzy and... Uh, makes it easy to comb through so that's what I've been using and it's not super expensive and yeah I just use a little bit every day after I wash my hair before I comb it out so yeah that's what I have on my hair right now um anyway I'm don't really have like we have a kind of a little bit of plans today but it's just like the regular shit that we normally do except for we do also have to go to the post office to send my son's birthday package to Arizona um, but besides that just waiting for our groceries to get delivered from Instacart like I said if you haven't checked that out and you feel like you spend way too much time at the grocery store like I was I definitely recommend seeing if it's in your area um, I just go through Kroger like the Kroger app um, here in Utah it's called Smith's um, but like I know in Arizona it's called Fry's and um, yeah I just go through their app um, but well 
did I even do that this time? I don't even know if I did that time. This that did that this time. But um, Instacart, it's I N S T A C A R T. Check it out because they you can um, order your groceries from places close to you, including like here they do like Costco, and I don't think you even have to have a membership. You don't get like the membership prices, but you still can buy things at Costco through Instacart, at least here. Um, so just, I would just check it out if you're spending way too much time at the grocery store. The reasons why I like it are, um, I don't spend, I don't spend time at the grocery store. Like, you know, I mean, we still have to go and pick up. We usually, what we've been doing is uh, we'll do Instacart for the main staple things that we normally have every week um, for like lunches and breakfasts um, and drinks and stuff like that and um, then we also order our groceries like a few things through Harmon's which is another grocery store it's a local one and it's more expensive but they have some of the things that Smith's doesn't so we'll get some things there like we've been getting meatloafs there um, they're like nine bucks for like 32 ounce meatloaf um, in the meat section and you just put it in the oven for like an hour and 15 minutes and it's really good and all protein and yeah we like that and I'll usually make some rice uh, for my husband when we when we have meatloaf so we've been doing that on like Sunday nights um, so yeah we do have to go pick up our groceries from Harmon's um, we have to run to the post office and then we also is that it? Yeah, that might be it. I'm, I'm tempted to go get donuts this morning. We'll see. I have to look and see what kind of donuts Dunkin' Donuts has right now. But I'm tempted to get them. I don't know if my husband's in the mood for sweets right now. He's not like a big sweets person. He really has to be in the mood. And I'm always in the mood for sweets. So, yeah. And a, a half a dozen donuts at uh, Dunkin' Donuts is like $6.00. So, yeah, anyway, but yeah, I really like Instacart because I don't spend a lot of time at the grocery store and I can spend time thinking about what I want and I'm not making a bunch of like um, impulse buys and they deliver it to you, basically, um, you can the first time was free for delivery and then after that they have like little deals and I've done one like every time that I've ordered from them which has been like the last three or four weeks um, if you buy like $15 worth of this brand of products then you get free delivery or you know $25 of this product and if you're already gonna buy some of those things then it ends up being a good deal sorry this is supposed to be like a get ready with me video and I'm just going off I'm just talking um, but um, yeah I will do that what is that sorry I had something on my pants anyway um, but yeah you can take advantage of their little deals where if you spend this much of this product then you get free delivery and a lot of the time it's worth it because like it's been worth it every time for me because I can either spend like $12 on delivery and I also you know you also want to give them a tip or whatever for bringing the groceries to your house um, but uh, yeah like I can either spend $12 on delivery or I can spend $15 on more food so I generally go the way of more food but um, yeah and you know it's kind of like made me change up uh, certain things that I buy like I, they didn't have any of like the little like p3s or anything like that that sounded good and they weren't necessarily like a really good deal and like for me that's kind of a big deal to buy things that are a good deal or on sale most things anyway there's some things that that it doesn't matter but a lot of and I would say most things it doesn't matter so anyway um, I got like some pork rinds and uh, some tuna because that sounded good, pork rinds and tuna for lunches this week, rather than like doing like the P3s and stuff that I've been doing, so. 
Anyway, um, so I like it for, you know, the impulse buy, like, to avoid impulse buys. And actually with Instacart, even after you've ordered, you can go back and add or remove things. Um, so that's really nice too. And um, if they don't have something that you want, um, you can choose a replacement option or they'll like send you, like you'll get an update by text or email um, saying that they didn't have this product so they've replaced it with something else and you can either decline or approve that. If you decline it, you can just get a refund for that thing or um, you can choose, you know, from a few different options like something to replace it with. So. So far, I've been really happy with it. We did have one week where this guy brought us some like brown lettuce. And so um, when like at the end of every, uh, you know, delivery or whatever, you'll get a text um, asking how the service was and everything. And so I, I only gave him like a three out of a five and said the lettuce was brown. Um, and uh, they ended up like giving me a credit for another lettuce for the next time. So I was really happy with that. Like so far I've been really happy with doing my grocery shopping that way. So I would definitely, definitely check it out because um, it just saves a lot of time. And for me, it really ends up saving money even though like I, ha I might end up buying a couple of other things that I normally didn't to be able to get delivery. Um, for free but also um and and also the tip but i'm not buying um like impulse buys like i normally would and i'm not having to take the time or use the gas to go and do the grocery shopping myself so yeah anyway i i, I really like it um so i checked that out another thing i'll actually get started on my makeup i guess another thing is um I'm obviously not good at like this talking and trying to do my makeup at the same time. I haven't actually ever tried to do this, so. Um, what was I gonna say? See, I can't think and talk at the same time. Um, oh, if you saw my other, like my makeup bag video that I did like last weekend, um, I was talking about, um, how Ulta online had shipped me like a broken um, eyeshadow palette, not palette, eyeshadow, like a broken eyeshadow. And I went on Twitter and I complained about it and they ended up telling me to email this one department or this email or whatever and um, they shipped me a new one. So that was nice. Um, so I was happy with that. So see, like, here's my broken one. And here's the not broken one. So I'm happy with how they resolved it. So if you ever have an issue, I highly suggest going on to social media and saying something. I'm going to try this color. I haven't tried it yet. And I don't even know if it's going to go on well with the shadow but it's this Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse. I don't know if you, you can't really see that. In the color Sombra, it looks like. Anyway, I'm gonna use this brush. I just got this at Ulta. Uh, looks like Koo Tools. I don't know. I got this around Christmas because I just wanted uh, the brush. Cause I just wanted, um, like my husband asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I don't usually spend a lot on myself, like makeup wise. Like if I'm ever spending money on myself, it's on food or it's on like usually cheap clothing, um, like Target or like I recently did get a pair of shoes at Nordstrom Rack that were like 30 bucks so I just wanted to go and get something kind of like a little frivolous you know for Christmas from Ulta and um and so yeah that's when I got this brush I like this I wear a lot of pinks and purples um 
you know, I, I've always liked pinks on my skin because I'm just very pink toned, but then um, with my hair being purple or having purple in it lately, I've really been into that. So yeah, um, so usually I just do, sometimes I'll like lay around the color or whatever. And then I always have like, I always do like a highlight color. So I've got the white and silver in this NYX palette that I use sometimes. And then I have also this L'Oreal uh, infallible eyeshadow. And this is more like a glittery than just, it's metallic and glittery where the other ones aren't glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's got some purple in it because I usually apply my makeup with my fingers or I do a lot of times. So anyway, I'm just gonna take this white. It is actually paler than me. Sorry, that's just Instacart. I just got a notification that my delivery is scheduled, so. The other nice thing about Instacart is like, I ordered my groceries um, Thursday night after I got paid. And you can set it for whenever you want it to be delivered. So I'm having it delivered today. Um, so even though I ordered everything on Thursday night, it's being delivered today. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll probably put some silver too. Like I said, I'm not, an expert or anything on makeup. Um, I just like makeup and I have fun with it. So, yeah. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do my eyebrows. I haven't worn, I haven't been wearing base lately because it just makes me break out. And my husband doesn't really prefer like when I wear it. So like he likes bright eyeshadows on me, but he doesn't really um, like when I wear a lot of base. So I don't do like highlights or anything like that. Um, right now, this is a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set in Deep Brunette. And it is, of course, lighter than my hair, so that's kind of weird, but I think this was the darkest color that they had. Either that, or at the time I was just like, uh, I think that black will just be too, too harsh especially because my eyebrows are naturally uh, blonde because I am naturally blonde. And my husband teases me about it a lot because I am also very blonde in my attitude at times. I know it doesn't offend me. Um, not saying I'm a dumb blonde, I'm just very blonde and spacey at times. So yeah, I'm just kind of start in the middle and then I kind of work my way out and kind of push the hair back to just kind of fill in. So yeah, it's not gonna look perfect or anything, but it just frames my eyes better. I'm just using my Urban Decay 
palette mirror because it's really the the only like big handheld mirror that I have. I'm gonna put on some more of this um, Hopefully this isn't one that like will crease really badly since it's kind of sticky. I really like bright colors. I like a lot of colors, but like bright colors because I'm so pale and because my hair is colored dark, bright colors tend to stand out a lot. And I do have blue eyes, which I know I, I've said a few times, like, it's hard to tell that I have blue eyes because my um, pupils are dilated a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Last. Um... What do you call this? Eyeliner. This is kind of a soft eyeliner. And I don't worry about putting it on perfectly. Yeah. And it has like a little smudger on the other side. I don't know how well the smudger works, but. It's probably because it gets eyeshadow on it. Alright, I think it's probably about it except for mascara and powder. Powder is just to get rid of like, and this is CoverGirl True Blend. I've had this forever. Uh, pressed powder and translucent fair. So I think it's like the lightest one you can get. I'm just really red in this area. And my skin does tend to be kind of dry. So powder doesn't always look great on me, but um, it is what it is. I'm gonna use it until it's gone. And then maybe I'll think about doing something else. So now we just have mascara. This is the mascara I've been using, the one that I accidentally bought in Waterproof. Uh, voluminous Carbon Black Hydrofuge. Yeah, I guess Carbon Black is the, is the color. I do like black mascara. And I always get my hair in it, which isn't a big deal because my hair is dark, but yeah. Oh, I'm so messy. I totally got mascara on my eyeshadow. I do do the bottom lashes. And yeah, I do make that face a lot of the time when I'm doing my mascara. Not the cutest face ever. The one where your mouth is open. how I've been doing my makeup um, sometimes I'll do other things you know like I'll do a couple of colors um, sometimes it's just like a one color day but yeah I'm gonna touch up the pink a little bit and uh, fix where I Smudged. 
darker where I got mascara on my eyeshadow because I'm a dork. And it's okay. I'm okay with being a dork. It is who I am. So. Sorry, this ended up being a really long video. kind of red around here but it is what it is this is what I normally do and then I really haven't been wearing like anything on my lips lately except lip gloss or not even lip gloss it's like oh where is it Vaseline uh, in rosy lips. So just a little bit of a pink tint. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of eyeshadow on my lips. But yeah. I realize that the color doesn't really match my eyes, but I'm just putting it on to like, you know, make my lips softer. Maybe I'll put a little eyeshadow on my lips because I do that sometimes. That is gonna be my look for today. Um, I probably I'm gonna put on a shirt. I'm just wearing tank tops right now. So anyway, I'm gonna make an update video. So sorry about the long videos. Um, if you like watching this type of video from me, let me know. Um, hopefully you're not too too mean about it but um yeah anyway i'll see you soon bye